Lumbosacral plexus. The lumbosacral plexus is easier than the brachial plexus. The sciatic nerve is the key nerve of the lumbosacral plexus. The sciatic nerve has two branches, the common perineal nerve and the tibial nerve. The sciatic nerve arises from the spinal nerves of L4, L5, S1, S2, and S3. So it basically arises from the spinal nerves of L4 through S3. Here there is a frontal view that shows the sciatic nerve roots. The sciatic nerve is the corner stone of the lumbosacral plexus. Knowledge of the lumbosacral plexus starts with knowledge about the sciatic nerve and its branches because it is the most important nerve. The lumbosacral plexus is predominantly the sciatic nerve in addition to a small nerve root called S4. What are the branches of the lumbosacral plexus? You can see here the superior glottean nerve. Superior is the higher one. So the superior glottean nerve, L4, L5, and S1. The superior glottean nerve is predominantly L5. What do you think will come after the superior glottean nerve? It's going to be the inferior glottean nerve. It is lower, but just one nerve. So the inferior gluten nerve will come out of L5, S1, and S2, and it is predominantly S1. L5 can give you Trendelenburg gait. The superior gluten nerve will give the gluteus medius, gluteus minimus, and the tensor fascia lata. The inferior gluteal nerve will give the gluteus maximus. We go one nerve lower, the posterior cutaneous nerve of the thigh, from S1, S2, and S3. The bodilinal nerve will come from one nerve lower, S2, S3, and S4. The lumbosacral plexus starts from L4 to S4. The sciatic nerve starts from L4 to S3. And when you add S4 to the sciatic nerve, that becomes the lumbosacral plexus. Now you have six nerve roots. And you have four branches. The superior gluteal nerve, the inferior gluteal nerve, the posterior cutaneous nerve of the thigh, and the pudendal nerve. Each branch will come from three nerve roots, and if you put them in order, the branches from the lumbosacral plexus will have a unique arrangement where the following nerve root will start with a lower numbered nerve root than the previous one. This is the lumbosacral plexus, and this is the sciatic nerve, which start with L4, L5, S1, S2, and S3. The superior gluteal nerve, you will start by one nerve lower, and that will be the L4, L5, and S1. When you go to the inferior gluteal nerve, you will start by one nerve lower, and that will be the L5, S1, and S2. And when you go to the posterior cutaneous nerve of the thigh, you will go with one nerve lower. You're going to go from S1, S2, and S3. And when you go to the pudendal nerve, you're going to go from one nerve root lower. You start by S2, and you combine S2, S3, and S4. 
and if you draw a line among the branches you find that the following branch start one nerve root lower than the previous branch and every branch have three nerve roots you remember it by the word sep sep the sciatic nerve and more thank you very much i hope that was helpful